the impetus here is now really on the cities. They are the ones who would decide whether to ban diesel vehicles. But what the court has just ruled is that uh, now the cities themselves would be responsible for the quality of their own air. So now they uh, have the option of using diesel bans. So a very important ruling and a very controversial ruling. The federal government, as well as the German car makers, have been very opposed to the idea of diesel bans, but a big victory for uh, environmentalists who have brought this lawsuit in the first place. The auto industry, of course, as you can imagine, is will not be very happy with this court ruling. And uh, the first order of business for them will be uh, a financial issue here. It may, uh, one option that they may have in Germany would be to undertake expensive hardware retrofits of these older diesel engines. And again, this is, uh, could affect over 9 million cars in Germany alone. So it's estimated that the cost of retrofitting those cars to potentially avoid these bans could be somewhere in the neighborhood of nine billion dollars for German car makers. And uh, looking uh, ahead to the future, of course, diesel has been under tremendous pressure with these scandals, uh, Volkswagen scandals uh, over the past few years. So uh, the car industry really worried about this ruling as well as the investment they've made in diesel technology.